Problem number nine. A lot of reading, a lot of inequalities, and it's guaranteed to be a very simple problem where you just simply have to translate words into equations. Two very important skills for the SAT. Translating words into equations and translating equations into words, which is what we saw in the very first problem. Let's read this. Marissa needs to hire at least 10 staff members for an upcoming project. The staff members will be made up of junior directors who will be paid 640 per week and senior directors who will be paid more, 880 per week. Her budget, which is the total amount of money that she has, for paying the staff members is no more than $9,700 per week, which is a funny way to say it because a budget is usually a number. It doesn't go as no more than. So I'm just going to say her budget is $9,700, so she needs to spend that amount or less. She must hire at least three junior directors and at least one senior director. Which of the following systems of inequalities represents the conditions described if X is the number of junior directors and Y is the number of senior directors? So it's totally straightforward. X needs to be more than three, Y needs to be more than one. She has to hire at least 10 staff members. So combined it has to be more than 10 and the total amount of money spent has to be less than $9,700. So let's see. So that's B. B is the only option. Both X and Y and X plus Y are greater than something, corresponding to this whole at least business and the budget is less than 9700 And I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to look over the rest of the options and figure out exactly why they use the wrong sign and why it doesn't fit. So the answer is B.